All right, so I thought I'd show you something that I think is kind of cool. So what we're looking at right now is a published course, and what I did is I published this and I put a uh, an articulate engage interaction on here. And this particular interaction is called a labeled graphic. So the way it works is you add an image into the interaction, and then you can add these labels here. And so for example, these are all the coffee shop Starbucks um, that are in my neighborhood if I wanted to go take a walk and drink coffee on the way. Um, so normally the labeled graphics interaction kind of looks like this. So you've got this whole player structure and everything. And one of the nice things with Articulate Presenter is that you can allow the slide master to uh, show through the background. So what that allows you to do is make a slot or an engage interaction that's a little bit more uh, seamless in terms of how it blends in with the rest of your slides. So on this next slide, that's what I did here. So if you notice here, you actually have the image extends all the way through the entire slide, and um, then you still have all the labeled interactions. So this would work good if you had a document or something and you didn't want to have um, the player structure here, you just want to have an entire image on there. So if we go back here, you'll see the image goes all the way over. So the way we do that is basically what we're going to do is we're going to set it so the master slide background in PowerPoint is going to show through the engage interaction. And then we're going to make our master slide have this image on it. And then in engage, we're going to replace the actual image with a one by one pixel image. And so essentially what you're seeing here is there's just a little tiny one by one pixel image that you really can't see. And then everything else is a background. So because it's transparent and engaged, it's allowing the PowerPoint slide master to show through. So let me show you how that's done. So we're in PowerPoint right now. And um, what we want to do is compare the two. So here's the engage interaction with the player structure. And here's the other engage interaction. And the only difference is we set it so that the engage interaction is completely transparent. And that's why it's white. And then you just can't see the image because it's just a little one by one pixel image. So the first thing you want to do is in PowerPoint, you want to create a master slide that has the image that you want to have on the engage interaction. So what I did is if we go to the layouts, you'll notice here, here's a master slide with that picture on it. So the only thing I need to do is make sure I apply it to this um, slide with the transparent background. So I'm going to click on that. So now this particular engage interaction has a master slide with the image. And then when I go to publish it in Articulate, in the presentation options, you have a menu that allows you in the publish tab here that allows you to include the slide master behind the interaction. So as long as you have something that's transparent and engaged, that will allow that transparent area to, um, it allows us the PowerPoint master slide to show through it. And so that's what we're doing here. So in, in PowerPoint, we change the master so that there's an image on the master slide that matches what you want for your labels. And then we assign that to that engage interaction. And then in presentation options, what we want to do is make sure we've allowed the master slides to show through. Then what we do is we go into engage. All right, so we're in engage right now. And then we can see here's our map image. Well, we don't need the map image because we're going to use the slide master background for our image. So that what we we'll want to do is swap this out with a one by one pixel image. And I happen to have one. So I just have an image that's one by one pixel. I go ahead and swap it out and you can barely, barely see it right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the interaction properties. And when you click in the interaction properties, I like to just have everything on the animation style be at appear just so there's no movement around it and it looks a little bit uh, more seamless. And then you need to go into your media borders and make sure that you have it on none. Go ahead and hit OK. And then the next thing you need to do is just go into your colors. And you can choose any one of your templates, but I have one here. When you edit it, you want to make sure that on the colors you're going to make your background transparent. So let me move this up here. So here's our background choice and there's our color and we're just going to make it 100% transparent. So that basically means your background see-through and you have a one by one image and so the slide master background is going to show through and that's how you end up getting something that looks like this.